Hello and welcome to IT I mean on this year I'm going to show you how to convert your Windows 10 from GPT to MBR and your Windows installation from UEFI to legacy BIOS mode. Now I have already created a video where I showed you how to convert your Windows from legacy BIOS to UEFI and the reason I'm creating this video is maybe you in a scenario where you have an external hard drive that is in GPT mode and you want to use that to a machine, an old machine that doesn't support UEFI and you want to convert your disk to MBR so that you can boot from the uh, legacy BIOS mode. Now the second scenario could be that you have a new machine where your windows installed in UEFI mode but you have some hardware failure it could be you have got a bad motherboard or you have RAM not working properly and you want to just take out the hard drive and put it in some old machine that doesn't support UEFI mode. So in that case you can convert your disk from GPT to MBR and then put it in the old machine that can boot from MBR. So in this entire video I'll be going over the process how to convert your disk from GPT to MBR and then booting up in a legacy BIOS mode. So I will be showing the two different ways to perform the same thing using two different software. The first software is mini tool partition wizard it's a free version software that you can use some extra steps are involved in that case and the second option is you can go with the professional edition of ease us partition manager and then you can simply perform the operation without any additional uh, configurations involved so without further ado let's get started Okay, so I'm logged into Windows 10. I, this Windows installation is in UEFI mode. So if I go to Disk Management by right-clicking the Start button and selecting Disk Management, and here you're gonna see that your disk partitioning style is GPT. So if I right-click the disk and select the properties, and go over to the Volume tab, and from here you can see that the disk is in GPT. So uh, Windows doesn't provide you an option to convert the disk from MBR to GPT or GPT to MBR until you delete all the partitions. So that's not what we want to do. So we will be using a third party tool, uh, mini tool partition wizard free, it's a free version. So I've already installed it. So I'll just go ahead and launch the application and I accept the user account control. And from here you can see that I have got this disk. I can simply right click and select the option convert GPT disk to MBR disk. Uh, you can also select from the left hand side you have option over here. Just simply click on that. And it's giving you a warning that this disk contains system partition and converting this disk to MBR partition style may cause your system to be unbootable. So we are aware of that and we'll be taking care of that. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. And this is done. We have not applied these settings yet. Now one thing you're going to see over here is that we have three partitions, the system reserve partition that contain the Windows RE or the Windows recovery environment the C drive that contains our actual Windows operating system installation and the third partition that was the EFI partition that it has configured as active and system so that's not what we want we want this partition to be the active partition so I will simply right click or you can just select from here you can say set active and click on yes and now these settings, the rural changes we have done, we have to apply. So go ahead and click on apply. And yes. So it's asking you to restart. So it's going to restart and apply those changes. Okay, so it has applied those changes now. We are not able to boot up, so it's okay. So now we have done these changes in the machine that was installed in UEFI mode. Now all you have to do is take out the hard drive and put it into the machine that only supports legacy boot installation. And on that machine, you need to boot up from the Windows 10 installation media. It could be a DVD or a USB. And there we need to create the boot configuration database on the first partition. So I have uh, ISO I'll be just inserting in the virtual machine. So I just need to power off this virtual machine. 
and then from the settings over here I go ahead and say that the system extended features it's no more a UEFI so it will be behaving like a legacy BIOS mode so if I just go ahead and click on start now this have the active partition defined but it doesn't have the boot configuration database it will not be able to boot up so it will be saying boot configuration database missing so that's fine so now I'll be inserting the Windows 10 ISO it could be any version of Windows 10 even Windows 7 I guess it would work so I have inserted the Windows 10 and I will just restart this machine by clicking reset and click on reset and you get the prompt press any key to boot from a DVD or CD just select that and now it's booting up from the DVD now what we need to do is we can manually also create the configuration database using VCD boot or you can go for Windows automatic repair over here so on the setup dialog box go ahead and click next and over here we have an option for repair your computer so it's automatically find out what is the active partition and that active partition is gonna create the boot configuration database and add the Windows installation entry to that boot configuration database so go ahead and select troubleshoot and go ahead with this option that says startup repair and hopefully this will fix the boot up issue okay so it has repaired successfully is gonna restart I don't need to boot from the DVD and I can see it has booted from Windows installation and now I'm gonna show once it is booted successfully I'm gonna show you that your disk is successfully converted to legacy BIOS mode and the last partition that was EFI partition we don't need it anymore actually so if you want it you can just delete it okay so now if I go to right click the start button and select disk management and there you are gonna see that the disk partitioning style is set to MBR so we have the the system reserved active partition the C drive and the EFI partition so this if you want you can delete it you don't need it so I can click on delete and then extend the volume to use that extra addition 100 MB partition okay so this is done so everything looks fine we can also just verify from the MS Info that we are in legacy BIOS mode MS Info 32 and from here you can see that it shows that your Windows BIOS mode is set to legacy BIOS uh, one last thing that we can check whether our Windows recovery environment is working fine or not so just click type in CMD and run as CMD and run as administrator and just check reagent C slash info to check whether recovery agent is enabled or not so it says that's enabled so you're good to go so that's how you can convert your windows from UEFI to legacy BIOS mode without actually reinstalling so this was using the mini tool partition wizard it's a free version and in the next I'm gonna show you how to do the same steps using the EASUS partition manager using the professional edition okay so the second method is using the EASUS partition master this is the professional software paid one and now if I have a look on this machine here also if I right click and go on to disk management and check the disk properties by right clicking and going on to properties here you're gonna see that the disk partitioning style is GPT if you want to see the system is in UEFI or legacy BIOS mode so MS Info 32 
and here you can see that Windows BIOS mode is UEFI so now to convert it using this tool is pretty easy straightforward you just run that application and from here you just need to right click the disk and select convert to MBR so what it does is it actually converts this disk as an active partition so it sets this disk as the active partition so and this will be deleted automatically you can see it says has unallocated so you can extend it later on I will be simply applying these changes so execute the operator execute this operation click on apply and right off the bat you will be able to boot up using the same installation media we just need to go to the firmware settings and change the boot mode from UEFI to legacy okay so it's converting the disk from GPT to MBR okay so at last is showing you that uh, just make sure that you have changed the the firmware settings to BIOS so I'll just power off this PC uh, in your actual physical machines what you're gonna do is you just take off the hard drive and put it in the machine that supports legacy BIOS mode only so I'll going on to the settings and from here I will be going on to system and disable UEFI so that way it's gonna boot in legacy BIOS mode and click on a start and it's gonna start successfully okay so the only advantage of this method is that you don't need a uh, Windows 10 installation media and now once it's booted I can check the system settings and also the additional hundred megabytes of UEFI partition that it has deleted I can just extend the C drive to use that partition okay so now if I go on to system settings uh, right click the start button and MS Info 32 here you're gonna see that your Windows is in legacy BIOS mode if you want to verify your disk is in MBR or GPT you can just right click and go over to disk management and from there you can see that this is your E drive it has assigned the drive letter so you can remove it if you don't want it and you can see over here in volume we have the disk partitioning style set to MBR and we don't want this partition to show up in the in your my PC uh, as it is appearing over here so you can just remove the drive letter association by right clicking and say change the drive letter path and remove it yes and additionally I want is on this 100 MB unallocated space to be used by the C drive so I can right click and say extend volume and click on next now another thing that will happen is that in case if you have more than four partitions in UEFI mode is gonna convert the all extra partitions to the um, logical partitions so this is how you can convert your windows from UEFI to legacy BIOS mode okay now let's verify whether the recovery agent is enabled or not so just go ahead and click the start button and type in CMD and run as administrator and just run reagent C space forward slash info and it's saying that it is disabled so just try to enable it 
and try again and it's successful so if I say info and now you can see the recovery agent is enabled successfully so that's how we can convert your windows from UEFI to legacy BIOS mode the free way and the paid way so hope you like this video if you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video